here, and today we're going to talk about Xbox PlayStation Plus Premium. What? What made Dreamcast guy want to do a complete 180, man? That is two consecutive PlayStation videos, man. Are you really trying to make it seem like you're not a fanboy? <laughs> I mean, because this is kind of crazy. I don't watch your channel to see you talk about PlayStation. I watch your channel to see you bash Xbox, and you're not bashing Xbox. You know, you're getting me quite angry. And what's even crazy, guys, I told you guys this was going to happen. We got this dude, Dreamcast guy, doing a complete 180. Now he's got some of the freshest gaming t-shirts. Look at that. One of the cleanest gaming chairs that I've seen. And the only thing that he has that we have to remove is that Dreamcast hat. And so until that day happens, my mission is not accomplished yet, man. We out here playing Metal Game Solid, okay? <laughs> this is crazy, man. I'm telling you, the only thing that's wrong in this picture here is the Dreamcast hat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because it's now been almost two years since the Surface initially released, and... Wow. I've both been very excited about it oh, okay. and disappointed with oh, how really? it originally launched. Oh. I mean, this is a service that costs $20 a month for... Did, did he just say $20 a month? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> did he just say $20 a month? Hold on. Wasn't you bashing Microsoft for $20 a month for <laughs> day once? And you out here subscribe to PlayStation Premium for $20 a month to play some video game trials and demos? You know what, guys, man? Like I said, man, I, 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 I've I tried with this guy, bro. I really tried to give this guy a chance, man. But when you see, do you see what I'm saying, though, right? <laughs> he was mad at Xbox for raising the price of Game Pass Ultimate for $20 a month. But you had no problem prior to PlayStation Premium, which you're paying $20 a month for that, and all you get is game trials. Okay, you get a few retro games here and there, but Microsoft offers that free through either dev mode or backwards compatibility. On top of the fact that you don't even need it if you don't want to, and you could just choose to use your disc if you wanted to play them like that. Retro wow. PlayStation games that are playable, beatable, and have trophy support on the PlayStation 5. So I was excited, but the original batch was pretty much slim pickings. But slim, now two slim years pickies. What? <laughs> slim pickies? What? Big batch of classics catalog. Oh, there I was you actually go. impressed by how much this has managed to grow. So they've been adding between two and five games. The Twisted Metals, the Doom games, so much stuff from the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation... Yeah, that's pretty good, like I said, man. I mean, just for the old games alone, if they start adding more of the old games to the catalog, I'd probably be more interested in playing on the play. But at the same time, I have a lot of these games physically owned for my PlayStation 1, like Scython Filter 3 right there. I don't think I see the need to have to purchase this, man. Microsoft would have offered all these things that you see right here through their backwards compatibility, which happens to be free. You feel me? So at the end of the day, I mean, this is very nice. Like I said, ain't nobody going to downplay it. But when it comes down to value, you're not really getting a lot of value out of this because, to be honest with you, your core audience, they don't really care about these games. I'm going to just be honest with you. You know what I mean? But. three although those games are streamable but then most importantly uh -oh. this actually has a bunch of psp games on it now i'm a big fan of the playstation portable uh, i actually hacked one way back in the day and playing them again is always super cool to me but let's actually boot a game it is, let's it is cool to see all these classics i mean it's still very lackluster and on top of that some of these classics are kind of just modern takes like uh that strider there I'm not saying it's a bad game but it's not strider for the playstation one um, like I said, this is good. You know what I mean? Like I said, there's a decent amount of games there. Um, you, like I said, you still have the option of purchasing it because it says purchase right there. So why do you guys have so much of a problem with Game Pass? Like, are you starting to understand that the concept of Game Pass is good? Or maybe you felt that you're in a war that you just cannot win. And, and when I mean war, guys, I'm not talking about console wars. I'm talking about a war against himself in regards to gaming. You got to enjoy what you have here, bruh. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, all you guys can look at the negativities and look at all the other aspects that make gaming bad. But you got to look at the good things, man. Like I told you, my dad would be happy that he can look at all these games and have a whole catalog without having to buy all these Sega Genesis games. You people need to value 
technology and you have to value things for what they are. You get what I'm saying, man? I get it. There's a lot of things that we don't like. Well, the same thing also applies to movies, music. I mean, these are just things that change over time, you know? And if you don't like that, then obviously you're not going to like life because that's these are the things that we have to succumb to. We, we have to see things that we once loved be forgotten, you know? And that can be very hurtful for a lot of people, man. Matter of fact, like I never took it like this, but yeah, there was a time where I'm like, man, like, yo, I never felt thought of. Like, the games that they were coming out just weren't obviously directed towards me. But then you got to find some enjoyment out of that. You got to find the games that you like to play on top of some, maybe some of the newer stuff. It's okay not to like a lot of these new games, man. I personally don't. I told people I'm an old school gamer at heart. And um, like I said, but I never looked at, oh, Phil Spencer, you know, they don't love me. You know, yo, she ain't. Of course they don't love me because you're not, you're not the one bringing in the money. I saw I hate to break it to you old timers, but you're not the ones bringing in the money. You guys want to sit there and say as to why they're catering to the Fortnite audience, because they understand that if they get a killer hit like that, they can make a lot of money. It's worth the gamble, but it's not worth gamble gambling with us because one, there's not enough people that are going to buy the games. Yeah, we might be happy at the end, but the company won't. They'll have to shut down the studio. Something else would happen because they didn't make enough money. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Gaming is more than just people's enjoyment with it. These companies have to get paid also. But the other reason I liked it is that almost all of these games actually have the ability to rewind. So uh, I, I, me personally, I feel like these things need to be removed out of games. People are like, what? I, I don't like the rewind feature in these games, man, because people don't actually learn to, you know, it's like they don't learn from their mistakes, man. You got to remember, this game is about conserving your ammo and all that, man. There's no reason for this, man. It also makes the game easier to play. You get what I'm saying? I don't like it, man. I really feel like the rewind feature to a lot of these old school games is what's hurting the enjoyment. Because people like, well, you don't use it. I mean, some people say they won't use it, but they end up going, they end up using it anyway. I'm I'm responsible. You know what? I got, I got a story to tell. I was playing Final Fantasy VII on the Xbox, right? I was enjoying myself, right? But guess what? I use, call me a casual all you want. I use, what is it, the, the three times XP? Now, I didn't use the health cheat or whatever, the infinite health, but I used it so I can grind out my character. You get what I'm saying? To get what I want. I know how to play the game, but I was doing certain things just because the feature was there for me to use. That's why the only way I can play it is on the PlayStation 1, where they don't offer that option. You feel me? Because, like I said, the game can get grindy at times. And you're like, oh, I just need to grind. I just want to get my gear. I just want to be able to get these things without having to go through, essentially, the adventure of the game. And that's why I just can't play it on the Xbox or any modern take of it. I got to play it on the classic gaming device. Because once you offer that option, gamers are going to use it. If you mess up, you can actually go back. You can create save states, so you can just be like, eh, let "Look me, at this." Let me revert back to here because I messed up something. Oh, I just overwrote a save file there. Um, yep, so he already made his first mistake. <laughs> I think all this is cool, but I think the part of it that's definitely been blowing the my my mind the most is all the new stuff they've been adding because these. Game they got launched just today. This actually came out just an hour ago. So Sony's uh, trying to build up their ecosystem. Uh, freaking Ratchet and Clank size matters. They've been preserved uh, PlayStation Portable jank a little bit. Uh, press the L button and the R button while running to do a long jump. Oh my gosh. See, now the, the problem is, are you guys actually playing and enjoying these games? Or are you guys just looking at it as a form of... Because I, I know a lot of gamers that do this. They'll have all these old games, but they don't play them. They just look at it and they get very nostalgic with it. It is wild to but see. But they never this game finish again. them. It honestly makes me just feel like a little kid again. This oh. is so cool. Press the slight button and enter first person mode. Aim and fire at the target. Like, still, like this is funny to me because, like, the, these uh, controls are not what you would think of. Like, because the PlayStation Portable did not have a right stick, it actually only had. Uh, left shoulder button and a right shoulder button. A lot of these PSP oh, games. What are you talking about? It, it had a it had an analog. It was the speaker. It was the little speaker at the bottom. What are you talking about? It had an analog. Games. They also actually created new functionality. This has camera control that did not exist in the original game. You can still do it in the original way, but now like it, it's a lot more seamless to do this with a an actual stick. Like. There is like a perfect. Like, are we gonna completely forget that the PSP had an analog stick at the bottom? 
I was, uh, you Still know, amount I of say that. updating <laughs> while keeping the original idea of it that uh, that I think is actually like I said, I'm happy. This is what I want to see from PlayStation. But I will say this, man, we could do all this on the Xbox already through dev mode, and on top of that, we could actually play them in 4K with enhancements. At the end of the day, you're paying for something that Microsoft offers completely for free. Microsoft offers free backwards compatibility. You don't even have to pay for it. You just have to have the disc and then you can play the game. You get what I'm saying? That's what Sony needs to do. But we know Sony needs that little money. We know they need every little bit of money that they can. So, of course, they're not going to offer this natively by saying, hey, you got your PS2 disc there? All right, we'll verify that version and then we'll have it where you own it. They're not going to do that. Microsoft does. I guess they got the money to be able to afford to do that. But Sony's got to push this through a subscription service. To me, this is not valuable. What games? I thought you old game. My old school. This ain't va- It's not valuable to me because one, I already have access to these games. Two, if I really wanted to, I could play these games free through my dev mode with enhancements. Uh, four, why would I pay for these games? Why would I? No, why would I pay for a subscription to play? What games do you got the option to buy them? Okay, I already own them. I own majority of these games here. For the people that don't. Perfect. If you don't own these games and they're pricing them accordingly and they got trophy support that you want to go for, perfect. I guess for that type of gamer. Okay. But Microsoft gives you the value because they give you this as well as the day and dates, man. That day and dates, man, until Sony do something similar to that, it will always pale in comparison to Game Pass because we're comparing a game that you could buy for $10 to games that come out on Xbox day and date for $70. Okay. $70. That's a huge difference, man. You know, people might say, well, you get it. You get the opportunity of trying a new blockbuster game for $20 a month. Like, I I mean, I'm sorry, bro. Like, I I love old school gaming, but this is not the way to go about it. Super badass. Like, there are still games that I hope come to the surface. Like, uh, there were there were leaks years ago at this point that we were going to get Dino Crisis. It's weird that Dino Crisis is I play all these games through my PlayStation Classic as well. On here yet, even after we've seen it on the store page. I want to see more stuff also. Like, like we, oh yeah, we do have Legend of Dragoon. I, I guess I want to see more like Square Enix stuff. Give me something like Brave Fencer Musashi or something. Like this man wants to actually, he wants to flex his gaming knowledge, right? Because he he knows people. Like, look, he got all. He even got the Sega Genesis classics there. Man, I, this, I, this I, man just wants to flex all his little. Look, he wants to flex. Look at me, guys. I'm old school gamer, man. Look at all these old games I got. Because I'm somebody that does have over 800 PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 games. So yep. I definitely am a, the type of person that. I play a lot, I spend a lot, I like a lot. So I'm glad the fact that they keep just Those adding in good. stuff that I think deserves to be preserved. The fact that Alone in the Dark, the new Nightmare, I have such a That's soft a good game. I actually that. like to see that. Oh, man. This, this, we got to get that Dreamcast version. This is the kind of stuff where I feel like these are the games that people are going to keep replaying, that are going to keep loving. I, I mean, I'll straight up not, say... Not for the new audience. Maybe for the old school gamer, but not for the new audience. Hey, even if you've never played Twisted Metal Kirk's or Adventure like Ridge Racer, I do feel like people could play these for the first time ever today and still appreciate them for how... It's- You're wrong. I'm sorry, bro. I've tried this already. I've tried this with people already, and they don't like these type of games, bro. I'm gonna just be honest with you. We it's just like it's just like trying to get these this new audience to go back and listen to Elvis Presley. I'm telling you, it's not they're gonna laugh at it. Silly they are at times. Even weird games like Killzone Liberation, which is like a top You know, I, I mean I, I get it, man. You old heads are hurt. You know, you finally realize that you know what, man, people don't appreciate our games, people don't really care about us, and it is what it is, man. These games are for your enjoyment, and the fact that these games are here for you to play, that's all that matters, because that's all that matters in the real world. It's about what you're having fun at. But hey, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, man. Like I said, take care. Peace out.